All right, this is vlog number six of the daily vlog that I started. And um, if you haven't been following uh, me and you just tuned in, basically what I'm trying to do is create three uh, items, three subjects, three topics. One is kind of my theme for the day. Two is something related to film, videography, or what's, whatnot. And then lastly, entrepreneurship. Um, now, I have to say that one of the the top things for me is the theme of the day it kind of sets the tone for me and so for this specific day today i really wanted to talk about um, when you realize the power of choice um, so when you become conscious of it and um, you realize that that when you choose uh, how to see things or how you choose how to see yourself or the way you choose and what you choose to think about creates who you are, your experiences. And so there's so much power in that, that you can literally redefine yourself, redefine your experiences, recreate um, your personality. Like if there's parts of you that you're not really too excited about that you feel like "Mm, there's a, there's a calling for me to break away from this habit or this part of my personality um, you can change that. A lot of people think, well, that's a negative. You know, your personality is, is what makes you unique. But I think at a, at, a, in a, at a core level, yes, this is true. But there's a lot of additional um, parts of your personality that, that I think you could, you could work on. For me, absolutely. So uh, some things, for example, that I would, I would change is, um, for my personality is, I think, um, focusing more on being more confident. Um, I, I tend to, I tend to allow people to, um, you know, have their own opinions, which is great. But a lot of times I, I don't, I avoid confrontation. So I don't really tend to debate people just cause it's not really something I, I, I enjoy doing. However, what I do want to, um, increase is, is my confidence and also, and also my conviction with certain things. Um, and that way, when I do tell people about it, I'm, I'm much more, passionate about it um and um i don't know if that that resonates with anybody or if that made sense but um i feel like i have been getting more confident uh as i i'm getting older and i think when i look at videos from 10 years from now versus today or even five years ago i feel like my personality has changed and i'm i'm coming more i'm allowing more of my um my true essence to come out to the surface so that's what i mean uh, and, and that's really what I, I look, I try to do every day. So let me just reread my, some of my notes. Um, okay, perfect. I hit it. I did it. Okay. Number two is, um, when, like, for example, I was, we were filming and, and, uh, things don't always go as planned. And so what you have to do is be able to adapt and you have to be able to, um, remain calm. And when you do that, uh, it affects your team and it affects your client and their experience. And that goes for your team as well. Um, If you create a great experience for your team, well, guess what? They're going to have a better time. They're going to have a a more exciting experience. And that's going to actually trickle over to your client experience. Um, You know, your team's going to then have a different energy and that's going to, you know, transfer over to your client as well. So that's super important. I think having, having the mindset of, okay, if things don't go as planned, I can remain calm, confident, and I'll adjust, I'll adapt. And a lot of times, I would say almost 100% of the times, when you do that, you actually find the opportunity in why things didn't go as planned. Um, I can't think of a time where we did act calm and we act confident and we said, okay, what's the opportunity? How can we adapt and change this experience? And we do, do it as a team and it turned out even better than expected. So... Uh, that was my thing. Uh, when you do film and you are out on set, things don't go as, go as planned. Remember, stay calm, stay confident, take charge, and the experience will present itself a new opportunity. And lastly, similar, uh, it kind of tied in, is you know when you're building your business as an entrepreneur, I, I, um, I had one approach, and I realized that over time that whenever I had a one approach and that, that could be multi, multi layered, meaning like I can have one approach about videography. You can have one approach in, um, editing, you know, so there's like different levels 
of what I'm talking about here, but let's just assume you're talking about uh, how you approach um, a client, for example, right? So how you approach your marketing. I think if you have the mindset that you are flexible in your approach, uh, you know, you're committed to your goal, but flexible in your approach, you'll be much more much more successful. I was having a conversation um, uh, with a friend and um, we were talking about a few podcasts that we were hearing and a lot of patterns um, present themselves in all these people's lives. I mean, you have very similar patterns and one of those patterns or one of those um, you know, uh, experiences that was pretty common throughout was when this entrepreneur adapted you know, if, if something happened and they adapted their approach, they were more often not than not successful. So they were more often than not successful, meaning they actually were able to prevail beyond their current um, challenge. And I think that's a skill that you want to have, regardless of if you're being an, if you're an op- entrepreneur, or if you're uh, you know a stay-at-home mom or dad or whatever, or you're out um, working for somebody. If you have if you're flexible in your approach, but committed to your goal, you'll be much more successful. That's been my experience. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you if you uh, actually have a different experience or you want to talk about your experience, um, please do share. Please uh, comment below uh, and, you know, look forward to, to connecting with you and creating some sort of dialogue. Have a great day.